morning, lovelies. How are you doing tonight? I'm, I'm very excited. I finally joined TikTok. Yeah, uh, yes, yes, because as a middle-aged mom, it's important to ruin it. Yeah. Let's get this party stopped! That's what the moms say. You know, the government's spending all this time and energy trying to pass laws to shut down TikTok. I'm like, just send in the ladies with the Kohl's cash, okay? We'll run everybody out of there in no time. Yeah, especially the under 30s, right? The people under 30, because they hate moms on social media. Oh my God, oh my God. But they love everyone else. They love the influencer, Addison, Madison, Radisson, in Thomas Edison, whatever her name is, like on there trying to teach you how to look hot. Like, yeah, I'm sorry, I'm not gonna be told how to be more fuckable by a nine-year-old. <laughs> no thanks. No thanks. The, the Gen Z suite, though, they do love their causes. They get on the platforms and they're like, you know, love is love and all genders are welcome here. But you know who's not welcome on TikTok? A 47-year-old mother of three. They're like, get the fuck out of here, Denise. Take your TJ Maxx decorative pillows with you. They're so mean. They're so mean. I'm on, I'm on the tech now. I'm trying to get all up with the tech because I'm looking for a new job, new day job. And uh, I haven't been job hunting for a really long time. And things have changed so much. It's changed. Everyone interviewing me is like 20, 30 years younger. Yeah. I mean, if you think doing stand-up's humiliating, yeah, try having your future in the hands of Chloe, who just got out of CSUN, you know? She, I'm gonna start showing up my interviews with Lunchables, you know? She's, she's like, uh, where do you see yourself in 10 years? I'm like, dead, Chloe. I'm just trying to get to this finish, finish line here, just... Oh my God, it's crazy, right? It's so crazy. I, um, I uh, like Gen Z a lot. They, they don't drink as much as you, you, you. A lot of them are sober pussies. Um, <laughs> in all fairness, in all fairness, you know, um, they're, they quit drinking to be healthier. I stopped drinking to be less arrested, all right? So we have different attitudes. But here's a fun fact, though. When I first quit drinking, the people who were helping me told me that, Anne, if you really want to drink, just eat some candy because the sugar will curb your craving. Some of you should be taking notes. Um, yeah, the, the, sh the sugar will curb your craving for alcohol. And uh, my friend asked me like, aren't you worried about getting fat? I'm like, listen, Linda, when I was drinking, I broke into my ex-boyfriend's house and took a piss on his clean laundry, okay? I, I'm more afraid of that bitch, all right? You know, candy just makes me nicer to hug, you know? Besides, you know what? I, I never ate a Snickers bar and fucked a stranger, so. <laughs> my son's here. <laughs> Hi, honey. <laughs> anyway, yeah, I, uh, I, 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 my life got a lot better after I got sober. I met a wonderful guy, I married a wonderful guy. We have this kid. It hasn't always been easy though. Um, we sent our son to this really progressive, hippie elementary school, you know, where they learn the ABCs of being triggered. And, um, <laughs> and uh, they diagnosed him as having special needs. He's a Republican. And <laughs> we weren't surprised though. Like for his eighth birthday, he asked for an NRA membership, okay? <laughs> And for his ninth birthday, he asked for an Asian girlfriend. So, yeah, my widow Mitch McConnell, he was, he was there, yeah. At this point, his father and I just want him to grow up to be a happy, functioning Reddit troll. So, that's all we want for him. Yeah, um, he's 16 now, he's growing up, and he's at that phase in life where he's wiping off my kisses and he doesn't want to be seen with me in public. He's just like his dad. And, uh, <laughs> Yeah, still, still though, every day I bring him a little snack plate so he'll eat healthy and never love another woman. <laughs> That's the goal. That's the goal. It's, it's funny with, with, with sons and mothers and sons because there, it's a delicate balance, right? I, I need to love him enough so that when he grows up, the women in his apartment complex don't like go missing, right? <laughs> right? Right? But I don't want to love him too much because like, I mean, of course I want him to grow up to be a kind and caring man, but not like a vegan poet. You know what I'm saying? Like, I want him to support women, but if his girlfriend dumps him, I want him to be man enough to not help her move, you know? If he does that, I swear to God, I will knock the man bun right off his head. <laughs> right off. Anyway, that's it for me. You guys have been wonderful. I'm Ann Stesney.